Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the Free Solo. Now the Free Solo comes in three floor plans and we're gonna take a look at all of them. One has bunk beds, one has a bed and dinette, and one is your OG traditional teardrop. That's literally the model number, OG. <laughs> we're gonna take a look at the outside features and the inside features, and we're gonna tour all three of them and we're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Wells RV Reviews Tobles. It's World's Only Channel giving you that true and unbiased review about every travel trailer, fifth wheel, toy hauler, and teardrop. And again today, I'm super excited that we're taking a look at the free solo product. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Howdy, Harrison. Hey guys. How's it going? It's going good. Harrison's Will's real name. It is, yeah, Will's my middle name, well, William. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm super excited to take a look at these. Um, they're really small and everything, so we're gonna do all three together. It's in one a three video. for one. That's right. Well, you know we love that. And where are we today? We're at RV One of Charlotte, North Carolina, one of our favorite stores. Yes. Thank you so much for letting us yes, record thank here you today. So much. Let's begin. All right. Model is F A M for family. Okay. Okay. This is the bunkhouse one. The tip to tip length of these are about 18 feet, and the dry weights are always 2,500 pounds again make sure you check the specs we're gonna have all the specifications on the screen but that but that's for both of them the din for dinette the fam for the family with bunks right up here where we do have the manual crank jacks we don't like those but this is all about price point and size right propane tanks go here and a battery tray goes here now these are really nice these are the free solos they are aluminum framing with the fiberglass sides that's what helps makes it super lightweight super super affordable super aerodynamic look at this this is considered like the teardrop category it's kind of like the r pod you know what i'm saying right. it's very it's like aerodynamic almost a teardrop but almost a travel trailer correct correct we got the little step going on up here you know how we feel about that we'll talk about it a little later and uh you know we're on quite a hill so when we go inside maybe i'll just go inside okay and you just hold the travel trailer and make sure we don't go rolling <laughs> Uh, and then look at these tires. Well, they're the Westlakes. I love those. ST235-75R15. Do you got a little bit of power out here? Yeah. Underneath there, I do see a propane quick connect. Some storage. Yes, Lots sir. Of storage, really. Yes, sir. And then coming around the back wheel, look, you got the uh, manual stabilizing jacks. Okay. It's kind of nice. A little receiver hitch. Do not tow behind it. Right. That is a 150 pound hitch if you do want to have a bicycle or whatever. And then, well. Yeah. Lift your arm up to see if you can see what's going up on the roof right there. I don't know that we'll be able to, but... That's the roof action, you know what I'm saying? You can see what you see. There's not a lot going on there. Right over here, Will. Other we... side of that storage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool. 30 amp service. Um, outdoor shower. This is where you dump your tanks and everything. City water connection. Notice how it's a side mount. Right. Uh, to make it a lower profile side mount air conditioning unit and everything. And then right here, we do have water heater, fresh tank fill. Okay. And then this is designated to the bunk model. If the bunk that flips open, this lower bunk does flip open for storage. You cool. know how we love that. Yeah. And then real quick on the outside of this one, uh, this is the dinette one. Pretty much the same other than that door. Exactly. Everything's the same except for that door. Okay. So let's check out the fam. Come on, fam. Okay. Come on, YouTube fam. Okay, so inside here, you know, you got the bunks over the over the bunk beds. Nice little kitchen area, very small, very nice side mount, side mount AC unit. Look at this. Well, it feels pretty stable in here. Okay, good. Why don't you come on in? You think so? I think so for now. Okay. You in? Yep. Okay, stand up straight. Well, here I can. Okay. Barely. But again, guys, this is a smaller trailer. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So right over here, we do have the dinette, okay? This is a nice U-shaped dinette, and this is where the adults are gonna sleep. Right. You have your storage right up there. <sighs> Exit windows, windows, and then the cushions do fall into the middle. Again, this is where the, um, this is where the adults are gonna sleep. Because behind me, 
will show nice everybody. Bunks. Yep, these are where the kids are gonna sleep. Yeah, nice big bunks as well. I they are actually really good size. Big. Yep. So, and again, this does flip up. How does it do that? Um, well, I think you have to do it from the outside. Maybe not. Ouch. Okay, but yep, it does flip up. Just like Very that, there's good. probably a clip somewhere. Is there a clip? Actually, you know what, Will? No I clip? Have it. Here, hold this. Okay. I'm checking it. It doesn't look like there's a clip. No, there's a clip. I see it. Oh, you see it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where's the... Oh, yeah, there is. It is, yep. Okay. Ow. You so, okay? Yeah. Well, above so, your head. Oh, uh, there is. It's right there, but you have to take this mattress out. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know. This is what it is, man. Hashtag teardrop life. <laughs> I feel like it's not bad for a teardrop. It though. really isn't bad for a teardrop. It's not getting shower test seal approval. Right. And then, well, this makes four videos in a row with plastic oh, toilets. Oh, man. I don't know, man. It's just what we're hitting today. And yep, then, well, I'm going to okay. sit here. Show us the kitchen area. All right. Obviously, small kitchen, but you got a high point microwave right there. Just a little one. Little baby sink and faucet right there. Some storage underneath and underneath here. Yes, sir. Two burner Dometic cooktop. Obviously, not solid service countertops or weight. Here's that um, uh, AC unit that Matt was talking about. You do get a little more counter space up here if you need to set something and then a fridge right there with a small freezer section and again guys this is 25 2520 right. pounds this is made for the jeep people that can only tow 3500 exactly pounds. so you know for what it is it's pretty nice yeah and then will do you know what time it is it's now time for, for the, the msrp, MSRP. <clears throat> msrp on these and again, the we'll, we'll check on the DIN, but for the FAM is $20,698 MSRP. They do have a really good discounted price. And again, they sell these at all of their locations nationwide, or at least most of them. We also did set something up with RV1, a contact form. Fill out that contact form. Somebody from their team's gonna call you. They're, they're kind of setting up like a Matt's RV Reviews team right. to make sure that they give you guys the best price in America. That's right. Oh, oh did you bump your head? Yeah, that was pretty hard too. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you bleeding? No. Well, then that but was this funny. Is low. That yeah, was. Couldn't they have cut it higher? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Will, that's corn fed right there. <laughs> you know what's funny? I totally would have done. Oh, and that's I not. I ducked too. That's not soft either. No, they should have put a little cushion there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the fam. Okay. Are we checking out this time? Yeah, sure. Look at these tires. Both of them hand cook. <laughs> Dyna Pros. Yes, sir. Different tires. Yeah, they are. Okay. Again, that's just what the RV industry is right now, this guys. Is a little smaller, so make sure yeah. you come in if it's good. Yep. So this one, we got the same bathroom. Okay. Virtually the same kitchen. Right up here, we do have the rear bed, which is really nice. MSRP. Is the exact same, the twenty thousand three ninety six. Okay. And then you have the front dinette here. Cool. Again, guys, we're doing the three for one. There's no need to have a video on a din on a din D I N. Yeah, honestly, or this video is already a little. It's short. all the same. The review's already going to be short. All but right. again, just great units. Yep. Now we're looking at the OG. So. Mmm. What? No awnings. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. These do have these little tooling. That's on funny it. that the smallest one has it on it. Right. Well, I mean, you need a living area because that's yeah, where you live. Yeah, true, in this. true. This one's a little bit cheaper. This is the OG listed at sixteen six seventy three. You guys know the rule. We'll get you a better price than that. And then we're in here. Well, cool. Here it is. Yeah, that's you got it. Got your little storage above there. Little storage here. This is actually pretty nice for a teardrop. Yeah. I'll, I mean, I feel like I got an additional six inches above me. Okay. Whereas traditional teardrops, you won't have that. A little bit of storage there. Storage here. You know, really not bad. You got and a furnace. AC. AC, side and all, AC. Yeah, that's where you put cool. your TV. It does have a DVD player and everything. And again, this is teardrop life. This is yeah. what people want. Place um, to sleep. Yep, place to sleep where you're protected from the bears. Okay, wheel well, exterior. So it's a little bit I more do love narrow. That step. Yes, Perfect. it's a little bit more narrow in in this way. The wheel well is not inside your living room area. Right. It is kind of made. Oh man, it is kind of made for rugged, off the grid life. And then look at this. Got your K2 cooler. It's kind of like a Yeti. 
Flame King, Little Sank. Is that? Yeah, and there's actually a place to pull oh, it, it through. Pump there? Yeah, man. Nice. Pretty nice. Again, 150 pound receiver hitch. Be careful there. And then, well, why don't you show everybody what's going on pulling the roof? Okay. Let me get up here. Yeah. There's and your roof there action. There you go. Perfect. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about the combo, the triple combo, all three of them, and three things we dislike about it. Well, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? First dislike for me is going to be no awning on the back. Right. Bed. You know, like one, so going to the teardrop, I really don't like these awnings. Right. But at least it's an awning and it is what it is. Yes. They could have easily added that to these. Just the awning would have been cool. It looks like that's just a bracket, so it looks like you probably could add that type of awning to this. Right, right. But again, I just would have really appreciated the awning. Okay. That's number one. Number two, I'll answer for Will. Okay. I wish the doorway was a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. You can't be knocking out my partner. Right. You know what I'm saying? But if you are going to get knocked out, at least it's on uh, their company property, you know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, brain damage, damage, you know? So, um, so that's number two. Just a bigger doorway, because even me, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you'd hit your head if you weren't paying attention. Out. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you yeah. gotta like duck it. Um, I really don't mind the height in here. It per works perfect for a hobbit like me. So that's number two. And then I do have a number third dislike. Okay. But it's also gonna be my like. I think it's, I know where you're going. I don't like how you have to take that yep, mattress out. Exactly. Just a pain in the butt. I just wanna be able to flip it up. I agree. Great, so that's three things we dislike about the free solos. Now it's time for three things we love about them. You ready for me to go first? Sure. I do love the fact how they do make it able to flip up yes. for storage. But not only that, I will say it is nice that it's a wider it is. a wider yeah. mattress. You know, there is no way to make it work without it being a like and a dislike. Right. It just kind of is what it is and it is what it does. And so I really do like that feature about it. Cool. That's number one. Well, do you have a like? Okay, for me, it's going to be an all three. So these are still too short for me, but if you were right on the edge, I like that they did the side mount AC yeah. because you won't be hitting your head on that yep. if it was on the roof. Yep. So, you know, at this height, somebody who's probably about six foot would be fine, but if you had that AC, you'd probably hit your head. So. Right. I'm going to combo that with how lightweight they are. Yes. I mean, this one we didn't even mention. It's only 2390. Crazy. These, again, these, these, these aren't for, like, I wouldn't buy one of these. I have a truck right we'll one buy one of these he has a truck right but if you don't have a truck and you have a jeep or a small suv and you do want and you do want a bigger space better than that tier yep. top you know it is what it is so that's number two and then number three well i'm gonna do a combo okay in the in the din the din i love that mattress back i there. agree it was actually a really thick really comfortable really nice mattress back there and you you want to know what i love that mattress and here's what i will say you can almost leave the the family one that dinette down the whole time and yep. put an actual mat. That's what it is. I love the rear spaces because you could do that. You could drop that dinette down and leave it as a permanent bed fixture right. the whole time. Of course. And then again, to add another like, because we can do that, uh, in that teardrop, that additional head space so I can sit up in there. It's, it's just a really nice, nice unit. These are really nice. These are the free solos. They're off, they're made to be off the grid, off the beaten path. That's State right. National Parks. This is about getting out into nature and wild. You're not going to a KOA in this. You're you're really living up the nature at a small compact size. And that is what I love. Yes. Well, Will, that's it. That's a review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Thank you to RV1 of Charlotte for hosting us today. And again, they sell these at all their locations nationwide. It doesn't matter if you live in Maine. Florida or Colorado, if you're interested in one of these free solos, use the contact form down below and they'll get you to the, their closest store that has a free solo and they're going to make sure it's a Matt's RV reviews form so they know that you're watching the show so they're going to get you the absolute best price in America. We promise you that. Will, is there anything you want to say? Of course. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know the three things you like, three things you dislike. Also, make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely, everybody, so yes, much for watching. You. And we'll, we'll see you next time.